Number 10. Crew Sushi At this cheeky Sacramento restaurant, treat yourself to some of the most tasting and artistically prepared Japanese cuisine in Sacramento. Precision sliced nigiri, sashimi and small meals like tea smoked duck kushiyaki and grilled corn with miso butter are all produced by Chef Billy Nego and his staff. The restaurant is available for dine-in business and if you want to get a reservation, which can be done online, move quickly and early. Number 9. Frank Fats A Frank-style New York steak topped with oyster sauce, onions and banana cream pie is one of the most recognizable dishes in the history of Sacramento cuisine. Since 1939, Frank Fats has been bridging Chinese and American cuisines and has remained a hub of political scheming. Number 8. Bombay Vegan Tacos it is likely that if you have lived in Sacramento for any appreciable length of time, you have consumed a crispy, oily and oddly parmesan cheese dusted Jim Boy's taco. Bombay Vegan Taco was a former food truck that moved into a bright brick and mortar location close to downtown last year, offers a vegan variation that, in all honesty, might be even better than the original. This vegan version uses beef made from mini mushrooms. Number 7. Kodaiko Ramen and Bar On K Street, Kodaiko offers one of the best bowls of ramen in the area if you find yourself downtown and are in the need for something warming. Although it is a mod establishment, Billy and Gio, the man behind popular sushi restaurant crew, gives it a boost. He also garners acclaim for the restaurant's housemade broths, which include a delicious three-day pork pattern. Number 6. Solomons The restaurant formerly known as Solomons Delicatessen now focuses on globally inspired cuisines such as Sapporo fried chicken sandwich with Sonomono. It is housed in a former Tower Records facility and is named after Tower Records founder Russ Solomon. Jewish deli favorites from its first incarnation as a deli are still available, including some of the greatest pastrami in town. Number 5. The Kitchen Restaurant Fans of this one Michelin star restaurant are wowed by the laid-back yet vibrant ambience that Chef Kelly McCown and the kitchen's team have created. Unlike the stuffy fine dining establishment you went to for your birthday last year when diners enjoy a multi-course tasting menu at the kitchen, you are not only invited but encouraged to stand up and stroll behind the scene to ask the cooks questions and even taste what is being prepared. Number 4. Southpaw Sushi This sushi restaurant, which is located on the border of the Arden and Del Paso neighborhoods, has demonstrated its longevity by serving rolls and nigiri that are unique, beautiful, sometimes weird, but always exquisite. The Wood Lake Roll, which is a mouthful of tempura, yam, avocado, seared tuna, brussels sprouts, and sweet garlic and ginger ponzu, was reintroduced by Lou Valente. The former owner of the now defunct Lou Sushi's in Midtown, the vegan version substitutes eggplants for the tuna. Number 3. Skips Fish and Chicken Deep fried southern food is sometimes all you want to eat to put yourself into a food coma. There are no frills, just richly flavorful platters that make you want to hug your favorite relative. Skips Fish and Chicken has you covered for these situations. You're never too far from a combo basket of fried chicken, catfish, oysters, prawns, cod, snapper or when it's available, crab and lobsters thanks to three sides in Nadomas, South Sacramento and on Wat Avenue. Number 2. Yu Huang Restaurant You should arrive early if you want to get a table on busy Saturday and Sunday mornings because the Michelin Guide referred to this Natomas Chinese restaurant as a hidden treasure tucked away into a Natomas strip mall. Steamed dumplings, barbecue pork buns and many other kinds of fried and baked Cantonese specialities have made it a popular destination. Number 1. Tecoria Rincon El Teno while good Mexican food is not difficult to come by in Sacramento, it is not often that you can taste the pride and love that went into making it. Even Sacramento residents who don't even currently reside in the city still speak highly of the Natomas establishment Tecoria Rincon Alito.